Hello everybody, once again I welcome you all to Dams Daily YouTube channel. I am Dr. Sachin with another ranker in INI CT November 2025, Dr. Shantani Das. Congratulations Shantani on awesome performance in INI CT November 25 exam. Thank you so much sir. Thank you, so Thank you for being with us. You have got a rank of 85, yes? Yes, yes sir. A great rank, very good results. Are you happy about it? Yes, I'm very happy. I never thought that I could, I mean, achieve such a rank. But now you are able to digest it. Tell us about yourself. Yes. Where are you graduate from? Where do you stay? I am uh, from uh, Kolkata and I did my MBBS from Bakuda Shamiluni Medical College and Hospital. And I think you are 2019 batch. Yes, sir, 2019 batch. So kind of first attempt for you? Yes, sir. Um, the May INICT was the first attempt and this is the November INICT is the second attempt. So how did you perform in May INI? May INICT rank was very bad. Around 23,000 my rank was there. 23,000 in May to 85 in November. It's a huge mm -hmm. jump. Huge yes, jump. And... You know, 23,000 means absolutely not getting anything and 85 yes. means almost getting everything. Great, yes, Anthony. What did you do in these six months to reach from twenty three thousand to eighty five? Sir, actually, I had uh, mostly started my journey after uh, completing my internship because uh, being from a peripheral college, the internship was pretty hectic. Mm -hmm. And uh, after studying for these uh, four four and a half years, I was not being able to concentrate on my studies also during internship. And uh, I was already a student of DAMS pre-foundation batch. So from the very first year only, like second year, first year subjects also were covered. So that I was doing. And uh, But after internship, after giving the May INICT, it was like an eye-opener that, I, yes, I have to now start studying if I really want to give the NEET exam seriously. So that is when I actually started uh, studying all my subjects from my notes, DAMS notes that I had made myself and also sometimes uh, watch the videos for reference. So when and did you make notes see. of uh, DAMS that second year you made first and second year notes pre-foundation? Yes. And yes, remaining sir. subject As notes you made in? Third year, um, second year I made first and second year subjects and uh, except I had missed out on uh, biochemistry I did not make. And then uh, third year subjects in third year, second year, that side, that uh, year, and final year subjects in third year. So your notes of 19 subjects were made at the end of final year or at the end of third year almost? At the end of third year. Excepting a few subjects were left, so, which I did. Which you did in the first half of final year. Yes. And that is what is the most important factor, the covering of the syllabus during MBBS, finishing all subjects, attending lectures, making notes. So during internship, you did not get much time to study. No, sir. Still, you managed to get a rank in NEET PG also. What was your rank in NEET PG? 2285. 2285 is a good rank. What was your score? Um, not sure. Out of 200, I, uh, oh, I did 49 wrong and I had done, I think, not 49, maybe 39. Because oh, sorry, your score... 30, 33 I got wrong. 33 I got wrong. Your score must be above 160 question correct. Must be. Yes, yes, yes. So you got a very good score in NEET as well. So, yes. so during internship, you said you did not get time to study. So how did you manage your studies during internship? During internship, uh, I was doing some MCQs, not regular at all when my uh, short subjects were going on like community medicine and uh, psychiatry, PMR, during those times I was doing a few MCQs. Accepting that, I did not do anything at all. I could not study my notes at all. After internship, I actually sat down and started uh, like making a schedule as to how I will go about reading all the subjects and covering at least once how will I be able to cover my uh, entire 19 subjects before I give NEET PG. So that was mainly my target that completing all the subjects at least once before uh, giving NEET PG. So that you could do because you had already made the notes during MBBS. Have yes, you wouldn't have made notes 
then was it possible no i don't think it was possible so what do you think was the most crucial part in your success starting early yes sir for me it was starting early because i am a kind of student who cannot just sit and study for very very long hours i was i would most mainly prefer sitting for shorter periods but doing it consistently so i had started early on during my uh, mbbs journey itself and that has really helped me so and how did dams interest in the how did dams help you in your journey i mean when i had started with dams i had never thought that i'll be getting a rank in neat pg or getting a rank in ini ct so i had started out because mainly my seniors and everybody around had said had suggested that to go with a a coaching uh, platform that will guide you through your mbbs and as well as help you in your neat pg journey so i had decided that uh, since coming from a peripheral college i was uh, i wanted to start earlier as as early as possible so in order to get some help in of in my uh, mbbs journey also i had considered uh, starting dam so that is how when I, and when i first started doing the lectures i felt so motivated and the classes being especially doing them live uh, from my home and from my hostel mainly gave me kind of a purpose that every day i have to come and sit and do the classes make the notes and that has helped me throughout my mbbs journey also in my professional examinations and so yeah so the confidence to use dams from second year till now you have spent a yes, good sir. amount of time in dams yes sir so any teachers that come to your mind today after achieving such success that you would like to thank or give credits to sir everyone i mean i cannot just leave any teacher out so including you sume sir deepthi ma'am each and every one of you has helped me so much i mean right from uh, maintaining a motivational uh, outlook on the journey that it does not matter no matter how many ups and downs i go through i mean not every examination that i gave even during my professional examinations was great so but i always had this motivation that i have to go like go continue doing this so and there must be something good waiting at the end so each and every so what, one of you what is your advice to your juniors who are preparing for the exam who are from bankura medical college let's say i share this video with your juniors who would like to know from you how did you prepare didi so what would you like to tell them i would just say that uh, start early definitely start early as early as possible and try to enjoy the journey so and that will al al always be possible if you start early because then you don't have the additional tension of uh, covering all 19 subjects at once and you will be able to cover the subjects part by part and it will be covered also you will like love, get fall be able to understand and fall in love with the subjects also and uh, you'll also be solving mcqs so the journey will become very easy that is all and uh, there must be a few of your batchmates from 2019 <coughs> who could not clear through this neat or ini so they are planning to reappear there are a lot of students from 19 batch who are still appearing for ini what is the, your advice to the students who are appearing next ini may 2026 sir i just want to say the main thing is not to lose focus i think and definitely for me consistency is the key i mean sitting every day for a fixed amount of hours is absolutely necessary for do i mean getting ahead and giving yourself credit for how much we have achieved till now and definitely moving forward with confidence and keeping faith in the journey and definitely making a schedule keeping being consistent with the schedule and giving enough examinations i think is very one of them thank you so much santhani for the piece of advice any final words from your side before we finally close the interview i just want to thank each and every one who has helped me in this journey including all the teachers of dams and my parents definitely and definitely all my friends they have been such amazing support for me without i mean without any of you i couldn't do it at all 
Thank you so much, Anthony. I would like to tell uh, the viewers here that she has expressed an interest in taking psychiatry, and I'm very happy to share that. And we wish you all the best in your journey. Let's meet each other again as colleagues very soon. Mm -hmm. Wish you a very happy journey with psychiatry. I'll be always there to help you out. Thank you so yes. much, Anthony. Thank you so much.